Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from LorenzCaviga.com and today I want to show you how to make a cool animation using Moistas in the Simo 4D. Let's get started! Here we are in the Simo 4D and first of all let's create a new sphere. Then select sphere. and make editable. Right now, we have to select Polygon Smooth and let's go ahead and select Live Selection. Now we can to select the first segment of the sphere. Right now, select a little bit. All right. Okay, now select sphere. Right click on the sphere and let's go and select uh, split. Okay, now we can delete the sphere. So let's go ahead and if you like, we can create a subdivision surface and select sphere and make a subshell of the subdivision surface object. Right now, let's go to the remote menu and uh, let's create a new cloner. Then, select cloner and uh, let's go to the remote menu again and uh, let's create a new moistance. Right, so select moistance and drag and drop into the cloner. Right now, select moistance and now we can select subdivision surface and drag and drop into the object reference. In this case, we can drag, drag down the subdivision surface, and then select more instance. In this case, I will choose this read up for example like forty. Right now, select cloner and select mode like radial and select count like 5 and radius for example like 200 centimeters we can animate the scene and let's go to the transform tab and I will choose RB for example select 200 degrees, for example. All right, so corner. Then let's go to the tab. Uh, okay, now we can animate the scene. In this case, we can increase the frames for example like 300 frames or 10 seconds and select radius start like 0 frames and select radius like 200 and select 300 frames and I will choose for example 100 centimeters and add in frame all right so if you like we can add the rotation of the scene and select cloner then let's go to the coordinates and uh, I will choose RB for example so I start for example like uh, at 0 degrees and add in frame then I will select uh, uh, 300 frames and I will choose RB for example 360 degrees and add in frame Right now, select Moistance. Then let's go to the Mocker menu again and select a factor. And I will choose Step Effector. Alright, so. Alright, so we will leave the Chrono Factor tab empty as default settings. Alright, now select Step Effector. 
then let's go to the factor tab all right now we can drag the first point on the top and the last point down Then let's go to the parameter tab and select 0 keyframe. Select scale like 1 and add in keyframe. Then drag to 300 frames and I will choose 0 0.5 and add in keyframe again. All right, now, if we do like, we can rotate the camera. All right, now let's create a new camera. Okay, now select camera and let's go to the coordinates. I will choose RP like zero and RH like negative 180 degrees. All right. Then double click and let's create a new material. In this case, you will choose color. Then let's go to the texture and select gradient. Right now, select gradient type like to this here color. Right, right. Select color like first color like yellow, for example. Then add new color and I will choose color like red and last color for example I will choose color like blue dark blue and add new material We can make some adjustment, for example, drag a little bit the yellow and adjust a little bit the, the red color. All right now, let's create a new background. Then double click again and let's create a new material for the background. Let's go to color, texture, and again let's go to the gradient. I will choose type like to the circular again. The color like. light blue or purple and white so we can add the color for the background All right now let's go to the render settings and set up up to the like film video and HDTV frame range and I will choose all frames then set and 
we can set your path. In this case, we'll choose format like QuickTime Movie. Right then, let's go to Effect tab and add ambient occlusion. I will choose the accuracy, for example, 100% and maximum samples, for example, like 200 and minimum samples, for example, like 65. Then let's go to factory tab again and add global illumination. Select samples low. <coughs> then select gradient gauge and select low again. Okay, now we can add some lights, for example. In this case, we'll choose the first light. You put this on the front. Right now, we can duplicate the light and select this in the left of the scene and again put another light on the right of the scene reset the camera right we can try some renders for example so we can so as you can see the I change a little bit the color for example like choose color like like green Alright, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe for more tutorial like this. So as you can see the movie starts.